multiple teams that have won it over the past few years. What, what do you credit that parity to? Um, I think that the West is getting really strong. And you know every week, I mean, it speaks to just the Big Ten in general. It's, it's hard nose. It's, it's smash mouth football. And it just comes down to who's going to execute better. And there's, there's a lot of teams that are executing right now. And they're doing it at a high level. Uh, you, you look at a team like Minnesota, it seems like that's going on the upswing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think there's a lot of teams that are on the upswing. And you, you can feel it when you're playing. You're like, okay, they came to play today. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic conference right now. Grim, what do you think has maybe led to some of the inconsistent play you've experienced in yeah. your first two years? Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing, um, I'd say the biggest thing is just there's a lot of decisions but you, you go back and watch, you're like, okay, I could have done something different. And so for me, it, it comes down to decision making. And how can, how can I be a better decision maker? And uh, that, that's that's the biggest thing, just for any quarterback that, that you need to do. And that, that's for me, that's the biggest stride that I, I've been trying to take. And how have you gone about taking that stride with new offensive coordinator, new yeah. receivers, new tight ends? It seems yeah. like a lot of new things at the same time. There's a lot of different things. Um, first off, it's, it's just how you're watching tape. And t- like for me, I just... I have different ways I watch film. Like, there's one way where I'm kind of looking at it more like mechanics standpoint, and the other one's like decision making. And there's a bunch of different ways. But for me, it was just kind of having those different paths that I can take. And then, as far as like my off the field stuff, I do a lot of like vision training. Um, and yeah, it's, there's a bunch of different ways to approach it. And lots of new receivers, new tight end. How yeah. difficult is it to kind of create a brand new rapport with so many people and a new offense, yeah. new passing game, everything? I wouldn't say difficult. I'd, I'd say fun as hell. Really? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a blast. I mean, we got a bunch of guys that truly love the process and know that there's a lot of work that has to be done. And, like, yeah, we have big goals. We have big aspirations. But this team's really good at just locking into the moment and, and growing. And, uh that, that's the fun part. What's the most fun part about it? Just the, it's you know what the fun part is. It's 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 not the on the field doing it. It's the messing around in the locker room, just talking about random stuff, going out to eat. It's it's all the stuff that doesn't involve football. That, that that's the fun part about it. Your relationship with Bobby, how has that kind of evolved since? Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. It's been great. Um, I, I love coaching him. He he does a fantastic job. Um, I talked about it a little bit earlier, but he, he kind of takes that holistic approach to it. And, um, but, yeah, and we, we do a great job of communicating. And that, that, that's big between quarterback and coordinator is, is the communication. And, like, if we got to play in, it's like, all right, what are, we, what are we trying to get out of it? And neither of us like it. We're like, why would we have it in? So it's, it's that open communication we have to uh, just kind of build the offense together. And, obviously, we got Coach Chris, too, doing that. So it's, uh, that's, been, it's been a blast. What about Keller? We heard a couple of you guys talk about him a little bit this spring. What, what does he bring to the overall as a former another yeah. quarterback? Yeah, he uh, a ton. And I'm forever thankful for Keller coming in because uh, he just he just ended playing and he gets it. He realizes it's not just it's a it's a different position than it was 15, 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. And it's it's the training of it's the vision training, it's the body work, it's the how you eat, how you sleep, all that stuff. So he, he was the one kind of right along there the entire time that was uh, just that holistic approach to it off the field. I don't, I don't think what was your reaction when I uh, heard that uh, USC and UCLA were coming to the Big Ten? Uh, honestly, I thought it was I was a little confused. I was like, what are you talking about? But um, I don't know, it's good. It'll be some fun, uh, warm trips in the winter. Do <laughs> you, you expect that there will even be more teams coming in? I have no idea. If they come, we'll be ready. <laughs> you know, obviously, it's a different situation for you when you go against the defensive practice. But yeah. in your opinion, what makes Jim Leonard a good defensive player? Oh, my God. I could talk about this for days.